The Penguin was a fantastic show and a smash hit for HBO and for Max and for Warner Brothers and a big hit for the Reeves verse in the Batman universe. Its biggest weakness was that it ended. It's over. Whether or not there's a season two remains to be seen. I know some of you want season two and some of you do not. That's a discussion we had a little while ago and we will probably have again today. I thought it would be cool though because we know that Matt Reeves has said that he's had discussions with HBO on other characters to bring into a series, a streaming series or a series on HBO in the Batman universe, specifically the villains of Batman. So today I thought it would be a lot of fun if we sat down, put out a list, and I said the top villains that I would like to see portrayed in an HBO series that would fit into the Reeves verse. So they got to be Batman villains and they got to be grounded in some capacity or the show would have to make them grounded because what they did with Oz Cobb, Cobblepot, the Cobb, they made him fit in the Reeves verse, right? He's not as fantastical as like a Tim Burton one, which went way out there, obviously. And he's different from other iterations on the comic books. They kind of made him his own character in this show, in this universe, using pieces of the Penguin throughout his history to do so. And it worked with great success. And I would like to see more of that. And I'm sure you all would too. Let me know who you guys would like to see in the comments down below. First things first, we got us Joe with the Joker. Just kidding. No Joker talk today. I did a video that there was a rumor about that happening. I would not be... A upset or against a Joker HBO show with Barry Keoghan's Joker. I just I just don't think it's going to happen. But I also, I trust everything that Matt Reeves does. I think another caveat should be that Lauren LaFranc should be involved as well because she crushed the Penguin series, just crushed the show. Like, everything about it was so good from start to finish, the characters, the way they... The webs were weaved in, in and out, and just she she was masterful with it, and Reeves overseeing it, obviously. So I think that's the that is the true dynamic duo right there. So let me know who you guys would like to see in the comments down below. Side Akbar, the holidays are coming up. It's Black Friday time, and if you're looking for a gift for a loved one, a friend, or a family member, check out Limelight Co. Candles. They are organic, no paraffins coconut soy you can get molds you can get different scents check out the website and if you promo code black friday 10 you'll get 10 percent off your order i'm not going to talk about catwoman because i already did that in a previous video but here is who i would like to see let's get things started right away with a character who was rumored to be in the penguin series a few years ago obviously didn't make an appearance could be in the batman 2 but I'm talking about Black Mask. Roman Sionis could be introduced as a rival to Penguin's criminal enterprises. His sadistic tendencies and theatrical masks could provide a violent, dramatic foil to Penguin's more calculated strategies. I would love to see Penguin go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Black Mask. I would love to see Black Mask in the Reeves universe. I think he could be a great foil for Batman and for Penguin and for the whole crime family of Gotham, which we know they're building on. Possibly Court of Owls are coming. And I would love to see how he could play in that world. Next up is Harvey Dent. Maybe Two-Face, maybe just Harvey Dent. We don't know if Harvey Dent has transformed into Two-Face yet. With Moroni's passing, we don't know if they're going to go comic accurate or if they're going to do what they want to do with the character and make somebody else create him as well. I had a comment a little while ago that somebody said they should have Penguin create Two-Face. So all that being said, you could do a legal drama with Harvey Dent Two-Face and you can incorporate other characters within the the Batman lore, the Rose Gallery, maybe the smaller, less known gangster stuff like that in the series that way, and then have it end with him becoming Two Face, or you can just do a full blown Two Face psychological thriller where his two personalities are clashing with one another, and you know the the good is trying to subdue the bad, but the bad always takes over, and there's no Batman in the show, right? Batman's somewhere else. So he's got it. We've got to see Two Face kind of become. We got to see Harvey Dent become the hero to Two Face. Something psychological like that, where he's playing with his multiple personalities and he's struggling badly. He's having a really hard time dealing with all of that. I think that could be a very intriguing show. Just an emotional show. Again, grounded, reality-driven show about one man who's being consumed by by this evil that's living within him that was let out because of a horrific accident. Fortune smiles. Another day of wine and roses. A little while ago, I got this super thanks right here saying... Here's a question. Should they introduce Robin? I would like a season two to introduce Tony Zuko, who is a gangster from Bloodhaven, who's making moves to expand into Gotham, and eventually that character kills the Graysons. Uh, Tony Zuko would be awesome to come in because he would fit in the world already, whether or not he may, might be somebody that was working with the Moroni or the Falcone family. We don't know, he, but he could come in and he could be hot and heavy on the Penguin's tail. He could also be working with someone separate or even just be working with Penguin in this iteration and he owes some money, he gets into some hard times, he gets caught. And this is the question though, do you bring Dick Grayson in? We know that the dynamic duo movie is coming. 
We don't know if that's going to be in the Reevesverse or in the DCU or how it's going to incorporate, but do you want to mess with multiple Robins? Now, if you're going to deal with multiple Batman, do you deal with multiple Robins in that aspect? For me, I think Dick Grayson, I, I thought Jason Todd was going to be perfect for this Batman, but now that we got Vic, I don't see that happening, and I think Dick Grayson would be. I think this Batman, because he's young, he has Alfred to look up to, and when Alfred goes through what he goes through in the Batman, Bruce has to deal with that in a certain way, but when you have someone younger, when you are responsible for somebody, then that can affect you even more, and so I think having a Dick Grayson, who may or may not be Robin, I don't know if he would become Robin or not, but when you have someone like that, that you have to look after, and you have to guard and protect, that adds an extra layer of danger, hope, and care on Batman to have to deal with this kid now and he takes responsibility maybe for what happened or what not because maybe he was responsible for something that happened with Tony Zuko. So I, I look, Tony Zuko I think would be great to see come in. I don't think he would be the main character of a sequel show. He could maybe fit, fit into like the Black Mask one like I said, but I would love to see Tony Zuko and I would love to see the introduction of Dick Grayson, like a real grounded Dick Grayson. Let's see how that would play out. I would love to see that. Holy rested metal, Batman! Huh? It's all metal. It's full of holes, you know? Holy. Oh. I'm going to say it right now. Arnold Wesker, the ventriloquist. We got to get this. Could he fit in the Reevesverse? 100%. And this one would make an epic eight-episode psychological thriller. In a crumbling Gotham City, Arnold Wesker, a reclusive and soft-spoken man with traumatic past, begins to unravel after inheriting a mysterious puppet named Scarface from his estranged, abusive father. As Wesker's psyche fractures, Scarface becomes a dominant personality, a ruthless mob boss who commands a growing criminal empire in Gotham. The series could explore the thin line between reality and delusion as Wesker struggles to re regain control of his mind while committing heinous crimes under Scarface's influence. Gotham's criminal underworld is drawn to Scarface's unyielding brutality, but cracks in Wesker's dual identity threaten to expose the operation. As the series would progress, we would be left questioning whether Scarface is merely a projection of Wesker trauma or something far darker, giving the ventriloquist a chilling edge akin to Joker and True Detective. Giving the ventriloquist an edge akin to Joker and True Detectives. That is a story I want to see. Bring on ventriloquist. I wouldn't mind seeing Warren White, the gray white shark made appearance, who's someone who was white collar criminal turned mon monstrous after a stint in Arkham. Warren White could serve as a cunning financier for Gotham's criminal elite, quietly undermining Penguin while trying to expand his influence. Might work better in a Penguin sequel, or again, Penguin exists in the universe, and if you know Penguin is here, maybe Mayor Penguin, this is how you could play in to the Great White Shark. And now I got it to go with Mr. Freeze. A few weeks ago, I got this comment right here. Mr. Freeze could be a killer who freezes his victims because he's obsessed with the preservation because he froze his wife to keep her around. He could just wear a lot of heavy jackets and maybe a breathing apparatus because he suffers from some sort of ailment. Honestly, slightly similar to Bane from Dark Knight Rises, but much more tragic and twisted. And I love the idea of bringing Mr. Freeze into this. I wasn't all on board at first, but now I am. Also, when you hear that the Penguin had to end at Christmas time for reasons that have to do with the Batman 2 needing to have snow, you kind of feel like the Mr. Freeze might be going in that direction. And if he is in the Batman 2, he could be a prime candidate to have his own HBO series. And I think the idea of it being a tragedy with him and his wife and how he's trying to cope with that and deal with that and maybe heal her to some capacity or maybe having coming to the realization that he can't heal her, I think this could all be played very well and be a very, very, very intense, highly entertaining and respective series, kind of like The Penguin, but a completely different style altogether. And I think that's the one key, right? Some of them, like Black Mass, it would be the same style, but you can move on down the road and they'd be very different from The Penguin. I think HBO, I'm not sure how they would want to, but you would, you would think HBO would want different styles, but because of the success of the Penguin, maybe, you know, the way studios work, they get cold feet and want it to be in the same vein. So Black Mask might work better there. Tony Zuko being a character in a Black Mask one might also work. But Mr. Freeze, I think, you know, I think Court of Owls is the big bad, but I, the more I see, the more I read about what's going on in the Batman 2, the more I'm thinking Mr. Freeze is coming. And whether or not he is the main antagonist or a piece of that puzzle, I think he would be great and well-suited for an HBO series. Louder, come on, sing, 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 come on. Yes. And I'm just going to say it, Poison Ivy. A lot of people gave the comments that Sofia Gigante could be Poison Ivy or her cousin could be Poison Ivy, Gia. 
but I'm thinking just plain old poison ivy. And the way you do that is to have her reimagined as a biochemist turned eco-terrorist who uses her expertise to fight against corporate corruption in Gotham. Her environmentalist motivations and deadly toxin-based weapons could add a morally ambiguous dynamic, making her both a sympathetic and formidable antagonist. And I think she would be well-suited and a lot of fun. And a lot of people love poison ivy. You could bring that in. Maybe you bring Harley Quinn in with her. You could have a lot of fun in the poison ivy world. And last but not least, Matt Hatter... As a low-level drug dealer, I want to see it, Matt Reeves. We got to bring that. Also, if you haven't checked out Holy Christmas Batman from my friend Brian Royer, link in the description below. It is a jolly good time. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Who would you like to see? Do you like any of these ideas? Would you want to see any of these characters portrayed in an HBO show? Do you think they're worthy of an HBO show that would run eight episodes or more, or maybe six episodes, a little bit less. Let me know in the comments down below. I read and reply to all of them. I appreciate it, and I appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, maybe the master of your own universe.